taken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. And the Lord looked upon him. And the Lord looked upon him and said, before I go to what God said, I want you to look at that verse 14. And the Lord did what? Looked upon him. You know the meaning of that? There was a divine focusing upon his life. The Lord has turned his attention upon your life. Yes, I want you to know that. I want you to know that as you are going. I know that the result of what God is doing in your life tonight, there will be an eruption. You know there was an eruption after that night. There was a stir. There was a move. Status quo was changed. Something broke out. The Midianites did not expect it. They wonder who he see that is tearing the people of Israel. Where he see from? Which commander is he? But yesterday, just an ordinary Gideon. Today, a mighty man of valor. A transformation is taking place in your life from this meeting. And I want to declare to you, the Lord has looked upon you. You see, when Mary, the mother of Jesus, was going to be, to enter into that thing that happened to her, what she says that, for the Lord had looked upon me, his handmaid. When God looked upon a man, when God looks upon a life, when God's attention is turned on your life, you can never remain the same again. So you hear God said to him, and the Lord looked on him. I was very touched that here was a man unto whom God can look. Isaiah 66 says, unto whom will I look? A man with a broken and a contrite heart. A man who trembles at my word. A man who promptly obeys and esteems my word. To him will I look. As far as I'm concerned, the miracle that took place in the life of Gideon was because the Lord has looked upon him. The Lord is going to look upon you. Actually, I want to say that the Lord has looked upon several of you here. And I hear the Lord declaring to that man as he declares to you tonight. And the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thy might, and thou shalt save Israel. From the hand of the Midianites, have I not sent you? Go in this your might. Do you know that up to the time that God was speaking to Gideon, he was still wondering, where is the might? Where is the might? I'm still here, just stretching my father's gynecom to go and hide from the Midianites. And you are saying, I should go in this my might. Where is the might? Where is the might? What he didn't know is that once God has looked upon a man, his estate can never remain the same again. It can never remain the same again. Never the same again. Tonight, I'm happy to announce to you. You know, I told you before, I said, having come here, you have come. 
a fire, an unquenchable fire, is kindled within your soul. And I said, that fire is for life. Yeah. That fire is not for one year, it's not for two years, it's for life. Yeah. I said, when you get married, you'll be getting married in that fire. Yeah. It is on that fire you will raise your families. Yeah. And it is on that fire that you will advance the purpose of God in your own generation in the name of Jesus Christ. Whether you know it or not, go in this your might. You can't go and sit down again. You can't. You can't sit down again. You cannot sit down again. As you step out from here, Because the Lord has looked upon you and the Lord had given us permission to pray the kind of prayers that have been prayed on your head you cannot remain the same again. So what did God tell him to do? Go! In this your might. And you shall save God is going to be, bring a miracle, a divine shift by your hand in the name of Jesus Christ. Gideon was still asking questions. He was still saying, oh my Lord, where we shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor in Manasseh. And I'm the least in my father's house. To every question that that young man asked, God gave an answer. Am I right? Every question. Because I don't have time to read all, you will have noticed that every question he asked, every issue he raised, God was merciful unto him. God gave him answers. He said, Oh my Lord, wherewith, wherewith shall I save Israel? I am not refusing, but I'm asking, wherewith, how will it be done? That's the same kind of question that Mary asked, isn't it? Mary said, How can these things be? Seeing that I know not a man. Behold, my family is poor in Manasseh, and I'm least in my father's house. And the Lord said to him, and that's where I'm ending tonight. What did the Lord say to him? Surely. I will be with you and thou shalt smite the Midianites as one man. Surely, what's the meaning of the word surely? Certainly, I will be with you and you will do exploits. You will smite the Midianites as if they were just one man. before I go to pray with you tonight, because that's all I'm saying God is asking me to tell you tonight. There are a few things that translated into practical reality that makes the story of Gideon to be worthwhile for us to talk about today. Number one, prompt obedience. I call it prompt obedience.
began to respond. When are you going to go? Now. As you are going from here, the boys that you laid at the altar that you are going to disengage with, you don't postpone it the next week. Now. In fact, now. You send a text that it is finished. It is finished. Bye bye to Rada Rada. Those things I used to do with you, it is finished. That same night, Gideon broke down the altar of Baal, broke down the groove that was by it. That same night, he erected an altar to the Lord upon that rock. And he took the animal from his father's farm, slaughtered it as a burnt offering. That same night, there was 10 friends of his, 10 young men that he took along and they did the work overnight. And Gideon said, let us destroy this altar of Baal before the daybreak. So can you imagine what happened? He had been walking since morning. He was stretching the wheat and he was just about to pack to go and hide it before the Midianites would know that he had done any work that day. So he must be tired. But when God appeared to him, he couldn't be tired again. He arose. Who will arise in this meeting? Who will arise? And when will you arise? Now, immediate, prompt, unprocrastinated obedience is all that was required for Gideon to see the glory of God as you go from here. I hear God saying, The Lord is with you, Almighty and of our Lord. Go in this your mind. For the Lord is with you. Surely I will be with you. And you will smite the Midianites as one man. As Gideon obeyed God implicitly. As he obeyed God promptly. As he obeyed God right away. Heaven cannot but begin to back him up. Hallelujah. God will back you up in the name of Jesus. Amen. As if the Midianites, the Amalekites, as if they have been waiting for a Gideon to arise, as soon as Gideon had that encounter that night and he broke down the bar, the altar of bar, and porched his own house as the Lord appeared to him. I was surprised that Midianites were mobilized against. Amalekites stood up and they went and pitched their tent together for battle. But that was just because it was God planning to hand over the Midianites unto Gideon as though they were one man. As I commit you to God tonight, there are these few words of instructions. The Lord is with you. Don't do anything that will take away the divine presence from your life. As you go from now, walk in the consciousness of his presence that has come on your life. Thank God that in the course of the meeting, those of you that were not filled with the Holy Ghost, you were baptized in the Holy Spirit. The Lord was equipping you to go and make a difference. Number two, because the Lord is with you, 
the Lord's eyes of favor is upon you. You will no longer walk in disfavor in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the Lord had looked upon you with his eyes of mercy, you will do well in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to arise to go. You don't go to compromise again. You don't go to pamper the, the, the altar of Baal. You don't go back into the fellowship of the compromisers. You don't go back into that unequal yoking. You are going to take a stand for God. And you will start from your house. Are you hearing me? Start from your Jerusalem. When you get home, they say, how was Boko? How was Boko? Tell them, it's different now. It is different now. It's my time, my set time to do exploits. Would you like to take your journey this morning? I'm asking a question. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to go in this your might? Because the Lord has looked upon you favorably. The Lord has turned his attention to your life. Go in this your might. Do the Midianites appear like giants? And Gideon was wondering, how will the number of people he gathered, he gathered about 32,000, how will I be able to confront the people that were like grasshoppers by multitude, uncountable. The Lord said, even those 32,000 is too much. I don't need all of them. And only with 300, God delivered the Midianites. Never you worry about what you cannot gather or what you can gather. The Lord is with you. As I ask you tonight to take your journey in obedience and with deliberateness to go and see what God is going to do with your life. Gideon did not keep quiet. He blew the trumpet. Gideon did not go back sitting down with his old colleagues. He knew that this divine appearance to his life has changed his story forever. He knew that I cannot return from that encounter to be doing ordinary useless things. He knew that God has changed his story. As you rise from here tonight, go and make a difference. Yeah. Preach the gospel. God will back you up. Yeah. Declare the word of the Lord to anybody you meet. That your notorious classmate confronting with the word of God, you will notice that a valor, a might, the might of God will confront him. You'll be wondering, what did I say? And this man has broken down. It's because it's your time to do exploit. Don't negotiate with the devil. Cast him out. Don't negotiate with the devil. Break down his altars. You have no discussion with the prince of darkness. Cast him out. The might of the almighty God will rest upon your lives. And we will hear of you in the name of Jesus Christ. As regard academic excellence, you will not come behind. According to the word of the Lord, you shall be head and not tails. And by your hand, the Lord 
we take the battle to the gates of his enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. If you care, can you stand up right now? Because it's time to go. If you care, rise. Rise on your feet. The Lord is with you. That's the first point. Will you acknowledge God's presence in your life this night? We say, Father, thank you that you are going with me. Thank you, Lord, that I'm not going alone.